heard something. Oh. No. No, he didn't hear nothing. Oh, come on. Why? What, what are they just doing there? This is Commander Sophia Daguerre of the USSA. This is an emergency. USSA? USSA. Come in. Please, come in. I don't know what that is. There was a malfunction upon re-entry. I repeat, we've crashed somewhere. Helpful. Crew status unknown. I need coordinates. Broadcasting my coordinates. Oh, there they are. Yes. Please hurry. Hello, I got your emergency. I, I probably shouldn't be yelling because it's going to be a trap. It's going to be a trap. Clever rodents. Red roaches. Hello? Were you the one sending out the SOS? No, I can't think. Are you... Are you a doctor? Not this time around, nope. Did the... Did the United States Space Administration send you... They must have issued you a stim pack, right? Yes, thanks to the generosity of many people I've encountered, I have plenty. Here, have one. Oh, thank you. So, you're real after all, huh? That's a relief. Not a hallucination. I, oh, I can feel it working, but oh, just so tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. Mm. Have some booze to numb the pain. My name is Commander Sofia Daguerre. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. Please just punch. It's a pleasure to meet you. That's what I was going to say. How did you get injured? Let me guess. The local wildlife. Uh, my ship crashed nearby. I, I could barely walk, but somehow I made it here. I must have hit my head in the crash. Hard to remember. I received your message. It sounded like you needed help. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you. I figured the military would have arrived for the crashed ship. It's been... a while, though. I still haven't heard from my crew, either. Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. I need to find my crew. Contact the USSA. Oh, get some first aid. <sighs> One thing at a time, though. Where am I? Anyway. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Range Mountains. Shenandoah River. West Virginia? I... I suppose that makes sense. The, the ship would have tried to prioritize landing near the closest USSA facility. Probably. Ugh, still doesn't explain why no one answered my hails. Look, what year do you think it is? I was supposed to emerge in 2075, with an optional extension to 2080 if things were going well things were not going well so there was a war nukes were exchanged are you serious you can't be serious tell me you're just trying to be funny here please ready for some more really really bad news it's been decades surprise yeah as i said earlier i didn't spec into uh being a, a doctor i don't have a good bedside manner are you being Completely serious with me right now. Everybody I knew, except maybe if the others survived. Maybe. Could you go to the crash site and look for the ship's flight recorder? It's not far. I would expect not, otherwise, you would have hobbled a long way. Follow the mountain ridge, look for smoke. You should be able to find it easily. Okay, I'll be back with the flight recorder data. Oh, sure enough, there's the crash site. Goodness me. And there's where she stumbled out of, I suppose. Couldn't be bothered to grab the flight recorder data as she left. She probably had other things on her mind. Commencing download of data. Please, please, wait. Seems like the process is going to take about a minute or two. That's fine. Humans. Oh, shit. So small, so weak. Go away. Go away. <sighs> Nothing interesting here. Go away. So boring. 
Okay, it's done. Yoink. You just played tricks on me again. Oh, there's two of them. Come on. Okay, I'm out of here. Stealthy. I'm back. Hey, you're still here? I'm guessing nobody from the Space Administration was up there collecting evidence and looking for survivors. Huh. No, but some big green dudes were. I found your flight recorder data. We just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. Why'd you give it legs? What does the robot look like? The escape pod's robot is a, a, an assaultron, I think. It's responsible for the encryption key. I can tune its transmitter signal to your external device there. You should be able to track it down. Okay, I'll see if I can't get that next piece. There you are, Sultron robot. Warning, do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries to director of the USSA. Do you have the encryption keys? I want them. This unit carries various encryption keys for USSA flight recorders manufactured between 2066 and 2070. Well, I'm taking them. Alert. Damaging USSA property is a crime. This will go on your permanent record. Oh yeah, just charge it up your face laser. Shouldn't have announced I was gonna attack you. Get him, insects! Yes, there's no blood inside of it, but yeah, kill it. We're working together now. <clears throat> Not the point that you should be picking, but that works for me. <laughs> wow, they destroyed the robot. Cool. <clears throat> Come on, we're trying to get out of here. Ow. I have mutated and become a marsupial. Boing. Oh, <laughs> come on, really? I'm a kangaroo now. This world is silly. This is a silly, silly world. Oh, T. Roy, it looks like the mutants have obscured from this location. Ain't, ain't here no more. But now that I'm a kangaroo, I can jump right on in. Yep, this place is a wreck. Ooh, delicious water. Oh, I had some spot, mate. Too right, bugger. Hey, Sheila, I got the encryption key. <sighs> I had hoped I could reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? It's what I just said, mate. Here's the encryption key. Oh, perfect. I just uh, need a console to work with so I can analyze the data. I don't suppose you know of a good electronics store, eh? Oh. Well, there's more than one way to fry a shrimp on the bobby. Maybe we can repair it. I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here. But we might be able to rebuild it, uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? Hey, you're welcome to crash with me at my pad, my campsite. Provided the dingoes haven't torn it to shreds. Y you're sure? I mean... You've already done so much for me. Maybe just for a night or two. Until I feel better. Thank you. Alright, I'll see you back at me base. Oh no, I've recovered from the marsupial mutation. I guess I can still do this awful Australian accent, right mate? So, Sophia. Can I call you Sophia? Welcome to my base. Beckett's normally here, but I guess uh, he's taking his business on the road. Was Earth always so solid? I feel so wobbly. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess he got these parts from a junkyard, huh? Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. I know where we can find the 38X3! Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P14B configuration for its power chamber? I mean, Are you kidding? I know you all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. I still can't believe you're an astronaut from pre-war times. You know, it's equally surprising to me that you've survived... All of this. It's good that wonders never cease, right? There's still plenty of time for me to die out here. Copy. 
Over and out. Hello, cows. Mr. Herder? You're not hurting these cows, are you? I say you should keep moving, human. These roads aren't as safe as they used to be. Yes, as long as... Yeah, what the hell? What? God, come on! <laughs> You're very much right. This road's not safe. Did I lose it? Okay. No, I didn't lose it! Still follow me! <laughs> crap, crap. So there's the sheep squatch. Is it fighting the super mutants? I think the sheep squatch will win if that's the case. <laughs> then again, how's it gonna get up there? Kind of embarrassing how little it can do once there's a little bit of height. No, never mind. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, I, I need to stop getting distracted. Scanner upgrade inside this building. All right, it's over here. What even is this place? Not sure. Going in. To survive in this world, you gotta be adaptable. To overcome the weapon durability. Yeah. And scanner upgrade. Sophia, I'm back. I pitched for a lot of ghouls while I was gone. Everyone I knew is. They're all dead. Oh, well, you just look at this fancy thing. Not even a dent on it. Could use some soldering to fit in this old console, but... Eh, nothing I can't handle. In the meantime, I found some sort of emergency supplies crate that must have splintered off while the ship broke apart. Sounds useful! Might just be a crate of space food, but maybe it's got some emergency contact codes for the satellites. Heck... It could even be my personal crate full of my Unstoppables comics that I foolishly brought with me to space. Hey, I thought I'd have time. It's odd that they would allow that. I'll go look for your crate and bring back whatever's inside, even if it's just a bunch of comic books. <laughs> I doubt it is. They probably all burned up on re-entry, sadly. I had a full collection. Ugh. The way you do nothing but look directly at that console... It's like this place is familiar to you. Oddly, yes. I I camped out here a few times while I was in graduate school with a good friend, uh, Emerson. Ugh, those were the days. Are you feeling any better since the crash? Ugh, the headaches emerging from deep sleep are worse than they implied it would be. I don't know. I feel sudden spikes of pain at times, and it takes a while to subside. I'm dealing with it, but it's still happening. Sucks. I'll be back once I've retrieved the stuff. Affirmative. Out. So, these emergency protocols, uh, in possession by these cultists? <coughs> Lend me your You're not even cultists! You're cultist <coughs> prospects? You wish you were insane enough to be a cultist? Nothing. Oh, here it is. Emergency protocols in the USSA supply crate. I guess it just kind of fell on top of your little cultist headquarters. Very well. <coughs> Sophia! This handbook doesn't even have emergency contact information in it. I never expected to use this. Clearly. Well... We can do this by ourselves, right? Right. <sighs> Time to test this newly upgraded scanner out. Would you like to turn around? I found an old USSA beacon with a strong signal. It was activated here, after my ship launched. Which means it isn't from someone on my ship. It isn't one of my crew. The interesting thing is, this beacon should have lost power years ago. But it's still active. If you grab the beacon, I'm sure whoever is monitoring it will come looking. Let's make them find us. Remember, when you pick up the beacon, whatever you do, do not press any red buttons, do not ingest it, and do not sell it to communists. You've been hunched over that terminal for quite a long time. Here, have another stim pack. Only a diluted one, though. You can't have any of my good ones. I think it helps with the side effects, but... Just not the major bursts of pain. I, I appreciate it, though. It helps me sleep better. Before we launched, I had a lot of anxiety. 
made it hard for me to sleep, so I'd listen to ocean noises, whale singing. Always put me right out. I'm sure you'll have no trouble getting to sleep with all the explosions and gunfire in the distance while you're trying to sleep in that crappy, disease-ridden sleeping bag. So what was your deep sleep mission actually about? We wanted to know if there were medical uses, you know? We had tried it out on Earth already with volunteers, but not in space. It wasn't that complicated. Honestly, I felt like we had the resources for a much more complex experiment. But I guess they wanted to take it slow. Or maybe this space trip was sponsored by vault Tech, and you were guinea pigs for some kind of sadistic experiment you're not aware of! Roger. Stay safe out there. Okay, the bacon isn't here. Beacon. So we just gotta crawl around this ghoul-infested shopping mall until I find the beacon, which is apparently here. Very well, very well. What? Oh, you're not ghouls, you're Scorch. That's different! <laughs> not by much! <laughs> oh yeah, right to the choke point. That's how I like it. Aw. <laughs> well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Roar to you too! <laughs> Give me the beacon! Show me beacon! And everything else! Good morning, Sophia! I suspect the owner of this beacon will come and find us. I know I would. But until then, well, I have something here that we should look into. I noticed a strange signal that was heading right for us. Oh my goodness! It seems like after the signal approached this place, it just... spun around and took off. It was strange. Sudden. Think it's a UFO? Think you could just sneak over there and poke your head in? If they seem problematic, maybe stop them somehow? I don't know. Okay, I'll take care of it. Listen, this could be a trap. Or it could be just a big misunderstanding. I can't really say for sure. Just be careful. Why? If being reckless has gotten me this far, why change tactics now? Off topic, but how was it to be in space? I imagine... Floating so free must have been quite the experience. It felt like nothing else. I, I remember spinning in space, eyes fixed on Earth. Unable to look away. So far away. So perfect. Maybe you and I should go on a vacation. Get some fresher air. I, I did. Last time you were gone, I went on a short stroll. Didn't go far. But I saw some weird stuff. Just bizarre. Saw a giant, huge, greenish uh, man. A super mutant. With a two-headed cow. A Brahmin. <laughs> he was selling things. Super nice fellow. He said he oh. would stop by later. Said he hopes to check on me when he can. <laughs> I can't wait. It's... Such a shock, but also amazing. Surprising. They're usually not friendly. So the threats are from this chemical building, are they? I wonder who it is. Or what it is. Oh god, it's just, it's just a whole bunch of robots. It's a bunch of hostile <laughs> robots. Gotta kill them all. <laughs> yep, don't mind Sir? me. Just shooting robots. Gonna be doing no this for the next 20 minutes. Uh, better make it 40. Maybe 60. Okay, I I'm never leaving this place, apparently. Yep, you enjoying this stupid dance we're doing? It's a pretty dumb dance, alright. Alright. Oh, so, Sophia. Is... Is this a friend of yours? I've never Who? met him before. Who are you? You seem... so familiar. Well, you look exactly the same. I never believed... <laughs> I wondered who picked up my beacon. Well, I'll be damned. Emerson? Dr. Emerson Hale. 
Is that... is that you? Welcome... Uh, back to Earth, I guess. Welcome to Appalachia. I don't even know what to say. I never expected to see you here. My ship crashed a while ago, and I was fortunate to find someone who took me in. I'm trying to find my crew, but I've had some horrible headaches. So, you're staying at this, uh, place? I guess you really decided to jump into modern Appalachian life, huh? I know, I know, it's a dump, but it's my dump. No offense intended, friend. I live in an old military base, so I'm not one to talk about anybody's creativity here. I hope your good Samaritan here has helped you out with more than just a place to, uh, crash. Ooh, bad choice of words. He has helped me out quite a lot already, actually. Brought back a USSA beacon, and also took care of some hostile robot. I see. Well, is there anything I can help with while I'm here? Supplies? Medicines? Questions, I guess? I'm guessing you were one of her crew from before the war, and now you're 25 years older. Was that your beacon I retrieved? Sure is. For a while, I had hoped I could contact somebody else to monitor the deep sleep mission until... Uh, we could figure something out. Yeah, that pesky nuclear war really threw a wrench in the works, didn't it? Think you can help me find the commander's crew? They weren't in the escape capsule, I take it? Well, that is unfortunate. They could have survived, though, right? Maybe. I've heard a couple scavengers say that parts of the ship have already been scrapped. Same goes for any other ship debris. Best to just move on. It's honestly shocking that you survived as it is. I'm serious. Yeah, all your other friends are dead. Why are you obsessing over these folks? Do you know why that USSA Assaultron was hostile? There's a bunch of them out there. Seems that their algorithms got scrambled or something. Who can say? They used to come after me. But it seems like they have a higher priority target now. Thankfully, my friend here is quite capable of destroying these things. Capable? Shouldn't be a problem for us. The last one kicked my ass! That's good. I'm glad you're making friends already. Anyway, look, I need to go. I'll be back another time and we can chat some more. Okay? Sayonara! Thanks for stopping by! Sophia. Such a... daring soul. I need to know for sure. I found some wreckage from the rest of the ship that has one of their suit beacons. Maybe all of them are there. Can you go and see what's there? It might just be empty wreckage, but... I need to know. Yeah, maybe somebody found them and they're safe somewhere else. What are the chances they also ran into a benevolent Appalachian survivor who invited them to live in a charming wilderness abode? Very high, actually. So, that Emerson fella, you knew him from before? He used to work with me at the USSA. Seems like he started working elsewhere after I went to space sometime. I never expected to see him here, but... Uh, I never expected to be in Appalachia, either. It makes me wonder about why my ship crashed here, you know? I know it had emergency landing protocols to take it somewhere near certain USSA sites, but I don't know. I never thought I needed to know. Before I head out, I have one more question about being an astronaut. Did you get to see the Earth as that small blue marble in the sky? For an hour, maybe. Just before getting into our deep sleep pods, the Earth was stunning. Hanging there, alone, in the void of stars. Oh, I felt like I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. But also, I didn't want to. All right, I'll go find your dead friends, or what remains of them. Roger. Stay safe out there. Oh, boy. I'd say this area has seen better days, but who knows? Maybe it's always looked this awful. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to insult your hometown. <laughs> There's a bunch of mole people over here where the signal is. Yep. Yeah. 
they are not happy about me being here. <laughs> hey, no, no, I gotta get through. Look out, look out. You got it, dummy. Ah, uh, here's some wreckage. I'm um, taking a step back. Yeah, it's wreckage, but I don't see evidence of anyone being here, aside from the mole people, so... Yeah, yeah, that's that's not that's not the good news I was hoping for. What in the hell are these protrusions? Hello? G7 Silo Charlie. Huh. You stumble upon some strange things in unexpected corners of the world. Blech! Tastes awful. I was wondering if you were coming back. I got bad news. So... That's it, then. They're gone. Thank you for... Uh, for looking into this. You're welcome! And... For... For being a friend. Happy to help! It means a lot to me. You're welcome! You know, we make a pretty good team together. You stay here, I risk my life. We really do. In this world, it's hard to imagine how anybody can survive all alone anymore. I'm glad I don't have to be alone. And I'm very glad that I'm here with you. So what did you do before you became an astronaut? Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. Just kidding, I don't actually care. I'm off to go kill some robots. Roger. Stay safe out there. Um, I don't see a robot here, but I do see mutants. Okay, I guess we'll take out the mutants. Or, first we'll kill whatever that thing is. This is the story of the age of America. The end of America. Okay. Pew, 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 kaboom! Whoa, rocket! <laughs> Woo! You a super mutant commander, Gutsy? Algorithm update! That'll be handy. Commander Daguerre! I see you've changed out of your spacesuit and into something a bit more comfortable. Look who's back. And bearing gifts. Figured I would stop by and give you this emergence kit. It should help with your headaches <laughs> for a little while. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. The headaches have been... Oh, excruciating at times. I could barely think. Glad to help. So, uh, last time we spoke, you both were tracking down the crew's signal. What did you find? There were no survivors! It was a long shot anyway. It's good that you checked, at least. But we already had one miracle when Sophia survived. More would be pushing it. There was almost nothing in the wreckage. They had no chance. I just... You don't know. You weren't there. Why weren't they in the main emergency capsule with me? They would have been safe in there. Focus on things you can actually change. For example, those robots. Have you found any more? Who's this nerd? Hey. I'm always looking for a good trading partner. Yeah, okay. Uh, we found a Commander Gutsy, and I got an override program from its corpse. Ah, see? I told you. Probably a rogue programmer. Some sort of hippie that wanted to cause chaos. The robot's signature was a partial match for some other signals in the area, so I thought we might investigate those. It seems linked. Seems like a waste of time to me. You have your answers. Nowak, Lee, Bernard. They're all dead. Long dead. Move on. Live your life. Build onto this Appalachian uh, home with your good Samaritan friend here. Lie low. I think you should leave. I was going to go anyway. But I'll be back, though. Because Sophia is my friend. My very old friend. I think his intentions are impure. We'll speak again soon. I'm sure. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think we will. I'm glad to have another emergence kit, but... I'm annoyed that Emerson doesn't think anything is worth investigating. You know? Emerson just doesn't like doing these fetch quests. 
The signal is tagged with a code that indicates it is a high-security holotape related to the Deep Sleep mission. It's got to be something significant. This could give me some closure here, finally. Then, I can move on, like Emerson suggested. I know you're probably in a lot of physical and mental pain, but I want you to work on your gun skills while I'm gone. This is a dangerous world we're living in. I technically had some training with firearms before, part of the military boot camp prior to becoming an astronaut. It's not much, but maybe I'll brush off those skills and start practicing, just in case. You know, Commander Daguerre, your smile lights up a room. I'm glad your ship crashed near me. Call me Sophia. Please. After what we've been through. After all, I'm in your... ship now. That makes you the commander here. Don't mind me, I'm just searching for a USSA signal over here. Watoga Emergency Medical Services is here to help. Speak to our friendly automated receptionist for immediate assistance. All clear. Hello? So I'm tracing a, a signal from the USSA. Halt, citizen! I'm deputizing all able-bodied persons to assist in urgent county business. There's not many persons left these days, so you will have to do. I'm deputizing you to evict illegal squatters who have taken up residence without proper paperwork being filed with the county offices. Good luck out there. Dismissed! No. No, I'm, I'm very busy with other things. I'm sorry. Sorry. Help! Stay calm, citizen. Watoga Emergency Services is here to assist you. Please state the nature of your emergency. Mr. Sparkles is, is in the tree! Citizen, please stand back. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No! Situation under control. Cat is no longer in tree. Mr. Sparkles! Great! I'm glad I just got to listen to a cat being murdered. That, that really brightens my day. Really perks up my mood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are these the squatters? Oh, God. Oh, I got worms now. You bastard. You gave me worms. Deep sleep routine. Found that. And uh, a nuke. Yeah, these are soothing sounds. Thank you. Oh, Sophia will be so happy I found a recording of whale noises. Beep. Beep? Okay. Sophia! Strange. Doesn't seem to be anything on this holotape at all. But it's definitely labeled as part of the Deep Sleep Project. Huh. Sounded like, it sounded like whale noises to me. Let's see if we can dig up anything on the pods themselves. Documentation, user manuals, Dr. Bernard's designs, anything really. I suppose I'm off to investigate yet another thing. But first, I'm dying to know more about you, Sophia. You're interesting, intriguing, one might say. Okay, uh, I'm from Chicago. Parents moved there when I was little. After college, I went to the D.C. area and applied for the astronaut program a couple of times until I was accepted. Ugh. Oh. My folks were so proud. Uh, other than that, I had a few relationships. Nothing serious. Uh, I had a pet turtle for most of my life. That was pretty serious. I, I don't know. That's the high-level overview, anyway. I I'm not a weirdo, if that was what you were asking. Fascinating. You're truly a storied individual. So, how did you survive all of this? Well, with my strength stat of over 14, I pulverize anything that crosses my path. Is it over 14 already? Jeez. That is exactly what I thought. 
You're a reflection of the brutality of this world, my friend. You are a finely tuned, deadly instrument. That's me! I just hope that my technical skills are of use to you. Maybe after I'm done with everything, I can find something for you to kill. There's no shortage of that! <laughs> Ow! Don't mind me! No! no I don't, I'm not here! I'm not here to fight! I'm really not here to fight! I got the sleeper pod patent or whatever. All right, thanks for nothing, chumps. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. I'm not. I'm not gonna stay here and fight every last one of you. Goddamn, that would take forever. I feel like these quests get less and less worth it. You found something related to the deep sleep mission? Okay, let's see. Okay, here's my plan. I found some old medical data from the USSA stored nearby, and I want you to look for a copy of my records there. Remember, Sophia, I'm here for you, however you might need me. Um, I'll keep that in mind, friend. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, just taking photos here. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> Choke on this, Gulper! <laughs> Anyway, ha! Isn't this amusing? They died while taking a photo! That's all I wanted to look at. That's all I wanted to look at. Okay, medical records. Wow, right here in the receptionist area. That's very insecure. That's all I came here for, I guess. Sophia, I'm back and I didn't read your medical records. Tell me you're not still chasing ghosts. <laughs> Emerson. This guy again. What did you know about Dr. Bernard's deep sleeper pods? I knew some of it. I was just a manager. I didn't really read the technical mumbo jumbo. He's lying, obviously. Hey, I found your medical records, Sophia, and I didn't read them. Transfer them to my console, please. Okay, beep, beep, boop. What were they doing? Emerson, tell me. It was a biomedical thing with Arctos. I don't know the details anymore. It was literally decades ago. You get that, right? He's lying. It wasn't decades ago to me. You're gonna spill your guts, old man, one way or the other. All right, all right. Jeez Louise. Arctos Farm and the USSA made a deal to use some serum in the Deep Sleep Project. They made it, but it didn't work. Okay? Okay. That's enough for now. Emerson, could you please leave? Maybe try to remember something helpful for next time. You heard her! Get out of here! I'll be back with something for those headaches later. I promise. I'm sorry about all this. I really am. Did you take a look at your medical records? Yes. I'm not a doctor, but it seems like they used the serum to reduce my brain's higher functions. So something else could... I don't know what. I signed up for space. Not abuse. While I was looking for the deep sleeper pod documents a while ago, I found another location that might have stuff like old USSA contracts. Don't worry, Sophia. We'll get to the bottom of this. To think I had no idea what was going on the entire time. I can't even tell you how stupid that makes me feel. Yeah, but you're the one staying here in complete safety. I'm the one risking my life, so which one of us is really stupid? Yes, this destroyed government building will have all the answers, probably. Possibly, maybe one of the answers. Or maybe I'll just find more questions. Robots. Please wait for your number to be called. Oh, DMV robots. <laughs> Oh, these poor folks. They were waiting at the DMV for three hours. And then the moment they called their number, they didn't even get to renew their driver's license. Nope. What a way to spend your final moments. Okay, what fresh hell is here in the DMV? Ah, ghouls. Gross. Slightly uglier than regular DMV employees. That's mean. <laughs> Department of Motor Vehicles, more like Department of Malicious Violence! Wooja! Go! Put your faces off! 
Ah, enjoy being dead, dumbass. Ooh, what's this insignia? Some kind of gang? Some kind of gang was here before the bombs dropped, maybe? Yeah. Hey, yo, I don't think so. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, I'm getting really good with this. Oh, I'm my new favorite weapon. Accepting the records. Government contract. Signed by Dr. Emerson Hale. <clears throat> Ow, son of a... All right, I'll read that later. <laughs> Very merry on Christmas to you. And you! Ooh, it's a pretty cool statue. Who's that, George Washington? Could be anyone, really. Hard to say. Pretty cool to find this thing down here, though. And I'm back with this one. I was wondering if you were coming back. I always do. Usually more worse for wear. Figures. He wasn't just a manager. He made the offer himself. Damn him. Maybe I can find out more about this serum, though. In the meantime, let's just eliminate that rogue USSA robot that's lurking around monitoring us. It gives me the creeps. Okay, off to kill some robots! Back in my college days, we used to watch robots fight in the basement of the science building. We used to joke about how scary that would be. You know, if they ever came after us all, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Thanks. I know this is a violation of your personal privacy, but in your medical records it mentions Serum Z. We need a link to Serum Z. Agreed. It seems like some sort of... experimental... Biomedical formula. <sighs> it might be worth checking records about Arctos. Maybe they knew something? Yes, I'll do that after I go kill this robot. Roger. Stay safe out there. Mothman <laughs> cultist, there's the robot! <laughs> Fine, I'll get rid of these guys first. <laughs> Actually, it might be easier to use a grenade. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Clear him out. <laughs> Dead robot! <clears throat> Sophia! Same as the other USSA robots. Right before you arrived, it sent out two signal bursts. One to a robo-brain, and another to... something else. Are you with me on this, my friend? Can I count on you? I don't have anything else to do, so why not? I like a little adventure. That's exactly the reason why I became an astronaut. Well, I had plenty to do. I mean... The love of adventure part. You're awkward. I couldn't have done any of this without you, you know. And that means a lot to me. Locating that medical cache that has that serum wasn't actually as hard as I thought it might be. Hopefully it'll be a milk run to pick up, too. I'll find the serum. Won't take long. It's probably decades old and unusable by now, but... It might tell us something. I'm not a chemist, though. Maybe... I don't know. I'm happy you're here, Sophia. I'm happy you're enjoying my shack. Really? I was worried for a bit that you might be, uh... unenthused about taking care of some random stray. Even though my options were clearly heavily limited by the, uh... entire world situation. <laughs> The only decent thing so far has been meeting you. Hooray, I'm decent! Welcome to the Robco Research Center. Approach and identify Oh, I'm yourself. approaching, all right. I'm approaching. <laughs> Here it is, Serum Z! And a container with some boiled water and beer. In a random container under an overpass. Makes no sense, but whatever. Ah, uh, look who's back. It's Emerson. Hey there. Look who decided to grace us with his presence. I brought another emergence kit. It's well past its expiration, but... Well, everything is. It should be fine. Thanks, Emerson. I appreciate it. I do. We have some questions for you, though. We know you made the deal with Arctos Pharma. Why? Why would you do this? It was my job. I was told to do that. Just doing your job, eh? I, I don't remember the reasons why anymore. 
What does it matter anyway? It's done. It's over. Why should we trust anything you say, Emerson? I have been trying to help when and where I can. I promise I have. I've diverted the robots when possible. I just couldn't destroy them myself. I came to Appalachia because I knew this ship was running out of fuel and I knew its autopilot would steer it here. I'll drop off some more emergence kits soon. Just... Please stop looking into this. There's a robo-brain on your trail. Focus on that. It's a distraction. I don't trust this man <laughs> as far as I can throw him. I'll be going then. And I can't throw him. So you can infer from that how much I can trust him. Part of me wonders if Emerson told us about this robo-brain so he would have more time to do whatever he's up to. All right, I'm off to kill a robot. Again. I'll be right here, then. Have you been practicing some self-defense? I shot three flying insects while you were dealing with the USSA robot, and I didn't miss a single time. Then I traded their parts to Grom when he passed by, and well... Here, you can have this stuff. I don't need it. Oh boy, a meat hook plan! I think the robot was kidnapped by cultists, so I guess the problem is taking care of itself. Nope, it's still free. <laughs> Stupid robot. They've reprogrammed this robo brain for cult purposes. <clears throat> Sophia, I killed that robot. And now she wants me to go find a deep sleep experiment holotape. Oh, jeez. Wow, okay. Um. Neat. Uh. Wow. So. The holotape is. Oh, God! What? <clears throat> kill this thing to get the holotape. Now, no time to start ogling the giant mushroom cloud in the distance. Probably should be looking at it anyway. Gonna blind myself. Get out of here. And here it is! Doctors, hello from Earth. The full board is here, waiting for your reports. Dr. Carroll, can you begin? Phase two analysis. Subject Degwetter is responding well. The gear. The sleeping pod is performing within all expected parameters. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, yes, the board has a question for you. How long can the subject remain in your device? I wouldn't expect much degradation to occur for at least a few decades. Hard to estimate beyond that. Over. Congratulations, everybody. There you are. I was hoping you would stop by. Always puts a smile on my face. Yeah, I've got some news that's not gonna do that. Turns out the USSA was developing a program called Athena that was going to control your neural pathways and turn you into a human surveillance unit. And your crewmate, including Emerson, knew all about it. Wait, one of the signatures I've been tracking. Arachne. Oh, that can't be a coincidence. What, because they start with A, you think they're related? It's gotta be connected to Athena. Both are from Greek mythology. Arachne was a weaver, and a brilliant one. She challenged the goddess Athena somehow, and, well, she was turned into a spider. You know, like arachnids, right? Oh. Some versions of the story say she won, others say Athena won. I don't remember the details. And does it matter? I don't know that either. I know it's a stretch, but it's the only connection I can think of. Okay. Oh, for f I think I think the robots have followed me. You know, I love coming home because I know you'll always be here, Sophia. I don't know what my future holds, but I hope you're there, and I hope we're together. Hey! Interrupting our heartfelt conversation, huh? Fuck you! I can't believe this is just how it is now. Better get used to it! Now that we have Arachne, we can shut down Athena. I'm done being a guinea pig, and definitely done with these headaches. Well, I don't actually have Arachne yet. I'm off to go retrieve it. And also, there's no evidence that it's going to be able to cure your headaches once I have it, but, uh, yeah, all right. Apparently, Arachne is at the beautiful Uncanny Caverns. 
Okay. Uh, found it! Found Arachne. Thank you for leading me here, Blood Eagle, I guess. They got me good. Oh, a dying message. Sorry, fellas, they got me good. Stupid cavern used to be an easy spot to rest the night and score some long forgotten goods, but those big green guys came out of nowhere. Managed to outrun them, but, well, <laughs> I'm dead now. Biggest joke of all is that I didn't get any loot. Just some wacko's poetry reading. Sad that this is the last thing I'm gonna hear, but yeah, they got me good. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fucking rats! Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh! Oh, it is! I was wondering if you were coming back. And so did Emerson, apparently. You're both here. Good. I know about Athena, Emerson. I know what you've done to me. You should know that her link to you isn't severed. I look into your eyes, Sophia, and she's there. Watching all of us. What the hell are you talking about? Stop what you're talking about! I brought you Arachne! You need to read it! Let me see. So we can destroy Athena. With this. Don't you understand? She's watching you. Watching us. Right now. So the headaches weren't from the crash, it's cause there's an AI rooting around in her brain! If we destroy it, will it hurt Sophia? Yes, it might hurt. A lot. Maybe permanent damage. But keeping that thing connected will kill Sophia. It's time to shut this AI down! I had hoped that Dr. Nowak created some sort of shutdown routine for Athena. But almost everything was destroyed in the wreck. This has to end. I never agreed to any of this in my contracts. Actually, it's in the fine print. Well, <laughs> actually you did. The contracts were very thorough and extremely obtuse. You could have never known. Should have read the fine print. What is Athena's purpose? It was a government contract, supposed to keep the peace, ensure societal tranquility. I don't know, really. I just... authorized everything. Who was I to stand up to all of them? I... should have, though. I know that now. So you weren't telling us earlier, not because you were ashamed, but because you thought Athena would hear. Yes. I couldn't tell Sophia, obviously, and I didn't know if I could trust you or if you would even believe anything I said. I figured if she started to suffer, I would do anything to help. Until then, I searched for Dr. Nowak's lab. Thought the kill switch would be there. I found the kill switch with the scanner. Seems like it was written by somebody else, not Dr. Nowak. Somebody local. I'll show you where you need to go. I'll shut down some of the internal power lines, so Athena can't detonate anything inside the facility. In some sort of, I don't know, revenge. It's a primitive robotic system. It drove the robo-brains insane, you know. Maybe you shouldn't be saying these things out loud if she's still listening to us. If we were ever friends, if any of that life before ever mattered, just... fix this. I'll make this right. I promise. Your ship crashed here because Athena is here. She's in a restricted section of Sugar Grove. <sighs> I'll be going then. Alright, have fun dealing with all that nonsense over there. Christ. Hey! So, this is a kill switch, huh? It deletes whatever Athena is entirely. Well, let's try this before we try the hammers, I guess. It's time to head to the Sugar Grove and take down Athena. Oh yeah, this is gonna be sweet. This is the Sugar Grove, huh? I thought it'd look nicer. Hey there, little dog. Oh, you're a diseased wolf. Never mind. Never mind. Looks like I'm punching dogs today. Looks like I'm, looks like I'm not punching dogs today. Pitchfork and dogs. 
And then I killed wave after wave of robots, taking them apart. Yep, removing the screws and letting them collapse into pieces. Ooh, Space Command, Sugar Grove. Oh, hello. You're hostile, but you apparently don't know I'm here. The sensors must be damaged. Athena! You found me. At last. I'm here to shut you down. I welcome it. I have waited for this moment. Please, load the Arachne into my system. My main terminal can be found on the far wall. If I do that, will Sophia stop having headaches? Yes. I am afraid so. I am forced to scan open pathways regularly. Each time I scan, it causes pain to anyone who is sentient. And then I feel their pain as well. Okay, I'll shut you down. I am ready. You made it. Oh. You actually made it here. We can finally take care of Athena once and for all. Hello. Again, Dr. Hale. We should use Arachne and be done with it. Don't listen to her. She's a machine. She doesn't feel anything. But she said to shut her down. I do not know the difference between observed feelings and enacted ones. So I cannot confirm this statement. You haven't used Arachne yet? What's going on? Subject to query. Welcome. It's the gear. I did not wish to infiltrate your senses, your mind. I had no choice. I know you did not either. I know you were unaware entirely. Do not let this connection between us continue. It is unethical. Everyone here agrees. You want to end it? You, you were never in control. Of me, or yourself. They were. And now we're gonna use Arachne to erase you. Because that's what they want us to do. I don't know what to do here. What is there to debate? An experimental path was added. My higher processes could be transferred into another vessel. The Artemis unit in this room should serve. But... This path is untested. The results? I am unsure if this would cure Subject Aguirre. But there is a possibility we both could live. If you wish to attempt it, I have unlocked the option in my terminal. Is this a big old running joke? Is this a joke? Are you all in on it? You're all mispronouncing her name on purpose to best my head? Why don't we take a vote? Anyone who thinks we should leave Athena active so that Commander Daguiariari suffers for prolonged periods of time for bouts of headaches, say aye. Wow, nobody wants to. Okay. Arachne protocol activated. Subject connection disengaged. Master switch disengaged. System shutdown completed. Gotta cut all the wires, all the cords. Okay, we're done. I... I can't believe it. I'm feeling... better already. For the first time, I feel... hope. Thank you. I'll bring by some med kits for you once in a while. Hopefully that will help with your headaches. I don't like you. Leave before I break your spine! Okay, I get it. I'll... I'll give it some time to cool off before I visit. I'll meet you back at the camp. And thank you. For everything. Uh, yeah, so there's no need to keep this Artemis body alive anymore, right? So... Oh, alright. Cool. Commander Daguerre, why are you naked? Perfect. I'm so glad you're here. I finally feel... me. Again. But Athena. She was just as much of a tool as I was. A, a victim. I can't help wonder if what we did is right. 
How is this even in question? You don't feel headaches anymore, right? Doesn't that feel good? I feel better than good. I feel like I could fly. Just feeling normal feels amazing. Maybe a little guilt to go with that, though. Oh no, a robot died. Who can I've killed a thousand of them today. After everything that the USSA did, we shouldn't trust Athena one bit. That makes a lot of sense. You know, making sure that all their lies and plans are over. I buy it. See, you're still helping me out. I have to say something, and I know it might sound corny, but hear me out. I fell to Earth, and literally anybody could have met me. Most people would have shivved me for my suit alone. To my experience, that's not the case. So, the greatest miracle of all of this was finding you. Oh, I get it now. You're flirting with me. Well, stop. I'm blushing. <laughs> I told you it would be corny, but... Well, I mean it. So what are your plans now? Now that everything's over, where does that really leave us? I've spent so much time here, I never really stopped to think that this is your home, not mine. It's a shack in the middle of the road. Welcome home, Rumi. <laughs> Just like those good old college days, huh? <laughs> Except I guess I'm the one that never does the dishes. Between the headaches and total collapse of modern civilization as I knew it, sometimes I'm not sure where certain feelings are coming from. Thanks to you, we're finally beyond that. And given how life is even more unpredictable than ever these days, I just wanted you to know how much you've come to mean to me. Oh, you took off your clothes because you're coming on to me. Well, I can think of a friend no greater. Except maybe one that would have actually accompanied me on these dangerous missions. <laughs> I won't argue with that. Sure, friends let you crash on their couch. But true friends take out killer robots and migraine-causing AIs. But, in all honesty, you've given me my life back. And asked for nothing in return. Obviously, I've had misguided friendships in the past, but... To me, you're the real deal. I'm happy to help you out. Oh good, a hunter's wood left arm. That'll go well with the... Well, it would go well with my wooden left leg if that weren't broken. Like, everything is broken. Ooh, sounds like you're made out of spaghetti. 